Hi, welcome to Jackie Burns Creations. We are doing Here's My Crown, a support for women supporting women. It's hosted by Freckled Mom, Devon, and Connie's Nails and Creative Creations. That's Connie Dunyon. It's going to be the first Saturday of every month. Well, my lady I'm doing has been such an inspiration to me and to many others. I've met so many YouTubers that are friends now through her, and she's getting a little bit of that uh, shabby chic vibe, which I love. And she is Indie Annie Jones. She is such a crazy character. I just love her to death. And she has so much fun on her channel. And if you haven't seen her, you need to come visit her. Like I said, it's Indie Annie Jones. She does a live every Friday and Sunday. Now she's doing shout outs to people's videos. So like I say, come on over and visit Annie. My project number one is a very shabby chic. Like I say, an inspiration of Annie. She's encouraged me. She's been support for me. So I'm taking this C tag and I'm putting primer on it outside and taking the other side of it because I prime both sides and I'm slathering my Mod Podge on there. Love my Mod Podge. And Annie got me interested in being an ambassador for Plaid, which is really great because I've been supporting them since 1972 that I can remember when I first used Mod Podge. I took some tissue paper in a blue and I crumpled it up into a ball and then I straightened it out and put it on top of the Mod Podge because I want the wrinkles in there. I want it to have that shabby chic look. Now I'm slathering more Mod Podge on top to seal it. And this lets me also add things to my sign. And when it's dry, I'll cut off the edges. So I found this old doily handkerchief that uh, I'm putting on it and straightening the lace out. Now I gotta admit it didn't have as good of effect as the other crochet doily. So I put a piece of that on there. Now I really had to slather on the Mod Podge on this one but you want to be them have them stiff so they don't uh, fray or come apart now i'm putting um, different signs on there different uh I don't know, a little ephemera that I've picked up here and there. Things that look very kind of vintage, like I say, shabby chic, older. When you're doing something like this, you can put le old letters on, old postcards, old pictures keys, flowers, whatever you want to put on there. This picture came in a picture frame and I thought it was really cool. Annie loves to dress up. And she makes the best costumes. It's amazing. And generous. Oh my gosh, Annie's so generous. She recently sent me a flower mold that I'm starting to use. And I will show that somewhere down the road in one of my videos.
put a little bird on it. If you ever watched Portlandia, they have a whole episode about put a bird on it. It's hilarious. I'm still trying to get this adjustment right with my videoing and that overhead cam. Oh, these are uh, transfers I got from Dollar Tree. And I thought, oh, they'd be perfect. They look so vintage. You just cut them out and uh, take the plastic off of it and lay it down and rub it. See how I'm doing that? And I noticed that these transfers work much better when they're done on top of Mod Podge. When I was doing them just on bare wood, they just had a harder time sticking. I really had to work at it. But that came off just great. And then you seal them with the Mod Podge. So here I'm putting some flowers on. These flowers came from Amazon and they are gorgeous. They're like cabbage roses. So pretty. Putting some uh, lamb's ear on first because I could put that on everything. I just love it. And I usually buy a garland at uh, Hobby Lobby and it was when they still had the 40% off coupons. So then I can just snip off little bits here and there. So now I'll have to watch it for on sale or pick some up at Walmart. I did put some other little flowers on, but I decided they were too little. I didn't like them. Oh, and here's a little sprig that came off that bunch of flowers. I tied it with the ribbon, just a little lace ribbon I got from Dollar Tree. And straightening out the bow here. And I will put a little glue on the back and glue it down. In my basement, I have a bedroom that's done in pinks. And it's very shabby chic. It's so pretty. And I'll probably put this down on the wall. Isn't that looking pretty so far? Look at that beautiful rose. Love the mauve color and the fullness of it. So I hope you like that. Project number two. My friend gave me this plate from Hobby Lobby. It's a charger actually. And I'm just cutting out as a rough size to uh, see where I need to put it. The paper came from a paper pad at Michael's. I think she paid like $1.74 for the charger. It was on sale. 
or maybe it was less. And somebody gives you a present, you don't ask them how much it cost. Just saw a sticker on it. You know, I kind of creased it so I could know where to cut it out to fit the center better. Now I'm taking some Waverly, which is also a plaid product. And this is the wax. I wanted to be able to see that uh, decoration on the plate to have it pop out a little bit more. So I just let it sit for a second and then took some paper towels and dried it off. And it got in those cracks and holes really nicely. Being on plastic, though, you got to be careful because if you scrape your fingernail against it, it'll take it all off. Now I'm going to use some more Mod Podge and slather it here in the middle. That That's a technical crafting term, slather. using my little brayer to get it in place and get any air bubbles out. That brayer is really cool. I find the thicker the paper, the less it wrinkles and gets air bubbles in it. So I like to use the Mod Podge with the thicker, um, yeah, what do you call that, scrap paper? I never was into scrapbooking, but I always loved the papers. And I sealed it all with the Mod Podge. Set it aside, let it dry for a few hours. Just showing you, I used the mat. They've got gloss, mat, glitter, dishwasher safe. Uh, outdoor. Oh, I should have used, tried the new one I, they just sent me. It's like an antique, it said. It's a little bit, a little more brownish color, but not really. So, I had these lemons that I got from Dollar Tree, and I got a bag of three, I think it was. And I decided to cut it in half, and I thought it was just a plastic one that would cut in half real easy. It's actually a foam, styrofoam. So I'm putting some lamb's ear on. And I did cut it with my X-Acto knife, but uh, it didn't go all the way through. And that's when I figured out it was foam. So I did take it over and use a steak knife on it to cut it all the way through. And it cut really easy. Gluing the lemon up on top. And I love lemons. I loved them before they became popular. I loved lemons my whole life. When I was little, I used to just eat a lemon. I'd eat everything except the um, seeds. But then everybody kept telling me, quit eating them or I was gonna ruin my teeth and take the plaque off with the acid. Here I've got a bunch of greenery from Dollar Tree that I'm just cutting off some little tiny picks to give it a little bit of color. And there you see a little bit of yellow, a little bit of purple, and the lamb's ear 
soft green. Glue a couple of those leaves down. And I really didn't think this needed a ribbon. I thought this was enough. Because I certainly didn't want it to cover up my sign. And I'll just put a jute hanger on the back. Right now it doesn't have one. but Project number three. Now I found these cute little candle warmers at Dollar Tree. Instead of being the regular candle warmers, they have a little flower on top. So I picked a yellow to go with my theme. And I'm gluing some of the, I think this is the smaller rope. And it took me not quite a whole bundle to use it on this. I'm going right over the opening and what I did was just put some glue on the rope that was going on the opening and glued it down. Now here I am at the top because you didn't want to watch me do the whole thing. Oh, I took a little bit of the rope and made a circle. Now I'm putting on some really cute bees that are cut out of like a music paper that I got from Retro Cafe Art. I will list them in the description box. And I think these are so cute. And I'm going to put this up on my tear tray with some other bee things I have. And I've loved bees for a long time, too, because my last name starts with a B. I go by JB53. So I am putting in a little bit of paint to fill in the hole. And here is everything all done. Doesn't it look lovely? That's so springy. And so, Indiana Jones. Like I say, she's been a huge support to me and kept me going and shouted out my channel, shouted me out, had me on her uh, challenge. So I just wanna thank you, Annie Jones, for being such a good friend. And thank you for Connie and Devin for holding this challenge. Until next time, go out and spread some kindness. And thanks for watching. Please hit that subscribe button. I will see you later. Bye for now.